Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Well, I just watched an IFL TV interview with Dillian White and for whatever reason, Lawrence O'Coley was mentioned and I've been totally unaware of this. Um, I've been away today and I've just come back and had like a little look around to see what's going on. And Dillian White and Lawrence O'Coley are kind of beefing on Twitter and I'm not too sure, sure why. First of all, these guys are different weight classes. Dillian White is a heavyweight. Lawrence O'Coley is cruiserweight. There is talk that potentially he could go up to heavyweight at some point. And that's all fine. That's all well and good. Listen, I support both of these guys. But, of course, Dylan White is my man. But let's be real. When I'm looking on social media and I'm seeing Lawrence O'Coley saying, I personally believe I would beat Dylan White. This makes me go, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you say that? Listen, it may create some headlines. Fine, fair enough. You get your name out there. That's cool. But ultimately... You're trash talking the wrong person. Because Dylan's already said, when I meet you and we will bump into each other at a show, I will mess you up. And believe me, Dylan will mess him up at a show. But when it comes down to it, listen, first of all, Lawrence O'Coley is doing everything right um, in the pro game. He's doing exactly what I believe he should be doing. You know, international titles, uh, British, Commonwealth and so on. Okay, He's progressing at the right rate. Okay, listen, he did struggle against Matty Askin. A lot of people believe that Matty Askin should have won that fight and potentially disqualified Lawrence Coley. Lawrence Coley looked awful in that fight. He looked awful against Isaac Chamberlain too. Um, but he does have a fight with Wally Camacho coming up as well. So first of all, he needs to be concentrating on that fight and not punching above your weight class. It's probably the first one. So to say that and expect Dylan White to not bite, listen... And in this interview as well on IFL TV, Dylan said, listen, we'll meet at some kind of catchway and I'll bash you up, no problem. Even though it does nothing for his career. This is the wrong move for Lawrence O'Coley. I don't know why he's doing it. Why mention Dylan White? Why mention him? I have no idea. Maybe it's because over Richard Rukipore, of course, he's a cruiserweight, potentially could be fighting Lawrence O'Coley soon. So maybe it's that. Because, um, as I said, Dylan White manages Richard Rikipori. Um But for him to personally name Dylan White is not a good move. I think either he's clowning, he's messing about, he's building a profile, or he's mentally challenged. If he really believes he can beat Dylan White, hell no. Hell to the no can he even... He wouldn't last two or three rounds with Dylan White. As soon as Dylan White catches him and, and, and grabs hold of him, he's in trouble. He's in for a, um, a whole world of pain and knocked smooth out. Okay, I like Lawrence Coley, but let's be real. He ain't even close to the level of Dylan White. Never mind the weight as well. Dylan White is so much bigger than him, so much bigger than him. He would pummel him. Dylan White could probably take Lawrence Coley's shots on the jaw. And keep on coming forward. This is a silly, silly, silly thing for him to do. I have no idea why he's doing that. Is he changing characters here? Um, is he starting to become punch drunk? I don't know. Is he starting to believe in his own hype? I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Hopefully he's not serious. Hopefully he's just messing about. But he needs to make it clear he's messing about. Because Dillian will put hands on him. He will put hands on you. So don't, don't be doing this. This is stupid. Stay in your lane. Concentrate on your cruiserweight. You've got a fight coming up with Wally Camacho. Get that one done. Make a decision. Do you want to move up to heavyweight? Do you want to carry on as cruiserweight? What do you want to do? But leave Dylan White's name out of your mouth because, as I said, this fight ain't going to get to the ring. It ain't going to... It, listen, Eddie Hearn is not going to sanction this fight. Anthony Joshua would not sanction this fight. So, what's left to do? Dylan will just grab hands on you outside of the ring and throw you around like a rag doll. That's exactly what he'll do. And he has no issues messing you up. Not a good move. So if I was you, get on your Twitter, get apologising, come out and say why you said it. You need to do something along those lines because it won't be long before Dylan White does put hands on you. You've got a fight coming up on March 23rd. Don't be surprised if Dylan White's going to be waiting there in the changing room for you for when you finish. Maybe you won't even make it to the ring. It's not a good idea to be doing that. Not a good idea. If you want Richard Riccopore, 
talk to Eddie Hearn about maybe making that fight. But don't talk about Dylan. Don't do it. Anyway, so go check on Dylan White's um, Twitter feed, Lawrence Acoli's Twitter feed. Um, if not, go check out the IFL TV interview. It's right at the very, very end of it with Dylan White as well, where he said that he will quite literally walk up to Lawrence Acoli and bash him around. So why Lawrence Acoli saying this? No idea. Does he even know why he's saying it? Hopefully he does. And hopefully he explains it. Um, this is not a good move, not a good look at all. If he truly believes that he will beat Dylan White... Good luck. That's all i got to say. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.